Last time on Doctor Who. I'm in the nether, and I got what I wanted. A gas tear. Look, you can see her from here. After taking down my enemies, I walked around the moon. It says I'm not a Time Lord yet. I'm in Gallifrey, and my TARDIS spawned me in lava. But I did find a magma cube, and killed it. And look at that juicy magma ball. These ghasts don't want to drop their tears. I made the second elixir of life. I needed this for the untempered schism. I also needed a nether star. So I went to the overworld and killed everything. And then I got level 30. Day 71! I was about to enchant, but I realized that I needed paper for books. So I built a sugarcane farm. And then I realized that I was out of water. I picked up some water from a ravine. And then I made an infinite water source. Now that I've completed my farm, I made a book. And I enchanted it. I've got some nice enchants, but not the one that I was looking for. After that, I went to the end to kill some endermen for XP. I'm still at it, trying to reach level 30. And I got it. But I didn't have enough paper to make another book. So instead, I just enchanted a diamond sword. Smite 4. Darn. Something was waiting for me in the TARDIS. It didn't drop anything, but it did give me some nice XP. And on day 75, I went to the overworld for some more sugar cane. I found a village and lots of cane. In the village, there are loads of books. Back in the TARDIS, I made a parkour course to get to my enchanting table easier. Afterwards, I enchanted a book and got Aqua Infinity. Day 76, I continued killing Endermen in my cheap Endermen farm. And yet again, I got level 30 and enchanted another book. Why are you doing this to me, game? And I tried it again. I punched down chorus fruit trees to find Endermen easier. On day 77, I managed to enchant two books. And on one of them, I got luck of the sea. So I made a fishing rod and merged my fishing rod with the book. And then I went to the overworld to fish. On day 78, I was looking for a sea. As I eventually found one, I started to fish. I wouldn't particularly say that I have anything good, but I found a lily pad, a saddle, and a sharpness free book. Not bad. Day 79, I teleported to a new spot and got a new fishing rod. It was broken, but it has luck of the sea free on it. Plus I'm breaking free. This is gonna help a lot. I made a better fishing rod and I continued fishing all day. I got loads of rods, a flame bow, and I got a Lord 2 rod. But I needed XP. It was getting night time, so I went on a killing spree. I wanted to put Lord 2 on my fishing rod, but I needed more XP. I needed to reach level 17. So I found a spider spawner, but it didn't help much. Afterwards, I got level 17 and made my new improved fishing rod. I feel like Big the Cat, just fishing all day. But it's much faster, especially with Law 2. I got annoyed of all the mobs that were in my way. I tried doing something about it, so I attacked them. It looked like nothing was wrong. I still have 8 hearts. Until the creeper blew me up and killed the skeleton behind him. It's a good thing that I have a shield to protect me from the blast. What? I died?! It's a good thing I drank the Elixir of Life. As you know, the Elixir of Life gives me Time Lord powers, which means I can regenerate 12 times without probably dying. So yes, I skipped death. On day 83, it started to rain badly, and I didn't like the weather. So, I travelled to the other side of the overworld, hoping it wouldn't rain. But, I was wrong, it's raining everywhere. And that means that the mobs that tried killing me last night are still alive. And I don't want them attacking me while I fish. So, to prevent this from happening, I travelled to classic Minecraft. A peaceful place, where nobody can disturb me. My fishing rod was about to break, so I went back into my TARDIS to fix it. Ah, good as new. The rain should be gone by now. I'm going back to the overworld. And no, I didn't get anything good in classic Minecraft. 
I know I was gone for a while. It's dark now, and I wanted to be next to a sea. So I threw around looking for one. I'm nowhere near a sea. Instead, I looked for a safe place to fish. I saw a floating island above a pond and totally missed my mark and took lots of unnecessary fall damage. Then I got sniped by two skeletons. And now to regenerate again. I ran away and found a lake with no mobs. So I made a small sky base and continued fishing. If I don't get looting today, I'm going back to the Endermen. Day 86, I checked into my farm. Then I went to the end to kill Endermen in my cheap Endermen farm. Day 87, almost reached level 30 again. I should be there today. Actually, I got a lot of Endermen mad, but it was worth it. Because I hit level 30. I checked out my options with enchanting a book. And again, not what I wanted. I'm about to give up on this looting thing. I mean, I started at day 71. By collecting coal, five days later, I'm fishing for it. Which took me another nine days. If I don't get looting soon, I'm going to Scarrow without being an official Time Lord. Anyway, I didn't give up just yet. I quickly picked up a sword, and you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Afterwards, I made a diamond sword, and it's still there. I guess sword enchants never change. The enchanting table has made up its mind, and there it is. Looting free, and I'm breaking free. <laughs> yes. I merged my Smite 5 Fire Respect 2 sword with my Looting Free sword. Smite works as sharpness, but then for skeletons. This sword also has mending, so let me tell you, this sword will never break. Then I rushed to the nether. I don't think I need to explain. I somehow spawned next to a fortress. <laughs> not a lot of wither skeletons around. Shame. Maybe not. <laughs> Three minutes into day 88, and I got my first wither skeleton, Ned. I even put it on to flex a bit. I'm just showing these wither skeletons how they will end up soon. Five minutes later, and I got lucky again and got my second skull. Ten minutes later, I've regenerated because I'm stupid. Day 89. I pushed a zombie pigman off a cliff and watched it die. I'm still looking for one with the skeletons. And only three minutes in today, I got the final piece of the puzzle. With no hesitation, I jumped into my TARDIS. I organized my inventory and the TARDIS. All that fish that I caught are all cooking now. But there was one thing that I forgot, and that was soul send. So I went back out there and picked up some soul sand. Besides, having some extra nether wool never hurts, does it? After that, I went to the end and made a trap. If I mined under the end portal and spawned the wither just under the bedrock, he will get stuck and kill himself. And just like that, the wither died. And I picked up a nether star and went back into my TARDIS. Now I have everything that I need for the untempered schism. Achievement complete. I went to the overworld. I wanted to use it there, but there were too many mobs, so I waited for sunrise, and on day 90, I activated the untempered schism. I played around with the config, now I can see into space, strange effect, quite like it. Looking into the schism, I got my regenerations back, and my shield was almost broken. I wanted to make a new one, a stronger one. First I looked at a Dalekium shield, I did not have near enough Dalekium nuggets, so instead, I looked at the Cyberman shield. I was missing one steel ingot. I went mining looking for that one steel ingot. I dig straight down and got lucky. I found a cave. I killed some mobs that were in my way, including this creeper that took his life with me. He killed me. He really came out of nowhere. Where did he even come from? After my regeneration, I went strip mining and found a mine shaft with a cave spider spawner. I cleared out the way and fought two spiders. One of them broke my chest plate. Not that it really hurts me, I'm a time lord. I broke the spawner and continued forward.
And I did something stupid. Almost killed myself. I misclicked. I picked up loads of ores and found a golden apple in the chest. I didn't film the part where my shield broke and there were loads of mobs surrounding me, like the angels. So I escaped just like I would with the angels.